Hey YouTubers, this is Gopher Bob on the Gopher Bob channel. Today we're doing another review on a buildable feeder. Darth Maul, set 75537. Now we first saw him in the Phantom Menace in the Star Wars. So, and then he's supposed to have survived his uh, amputation of his uh, bottom legs. And um, yeah. Got revived anyway these are the spare pieces after the build okay that's for uh, bricklink to confirm that I, well I'll be posting that on bricklink and yeah confirming that but yeah, that's for people who use bricklink not for under 13 year olds no this is the uh, instructions 61 steps for this one and there's a bit of a bit of advertising. And then this set came out in 2018, which was the last year of the series. And there's a piece kind of there. That's that. And it has 104 pieces. Now he is kind of cool. He's got a gear mechanism here to. That's all he does to block. That's it. That's it for Darth Maul. Now, if you want to <laughs> amputate his legs, pull up his legs, and build his mechanical ones, you probably could do that. Absolutely, with Lego. So <clears throat> um, that's it. He's uh, not much. It's April. I mean, apron. But he's apron. Um, he is a cool figure though. Now I will be posting a link to my UCS uh, Darth Maul bust. Uh, he's a cool. This he will be probably in the vicinity of that, but um, probably uh, it'll be in the end of uh, towards the end of uh, this video. But he is cool, um, even though it's sim, you know, pretty simple. 104 pieces, 25 centimeters tall. Uh, definitely. He's a cool bad guy, that's for sure. And his headpiece, molded headpiece, is really, really cool. So anyway, that's uh, Darth Maul, buildable figure, reviewing, uh, printed on his chest, his breastplate. Nothing else is printed. No, that's it. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we will catch you next time on Gopher Bob Channel. Bye.